Hey, that's dude. That's dude. And welcome to Lazy, Lazy Boys, Boys Night. Night. Yes, it is. Oh, this is a very clear one, isn't it? it well, it's a white IPA. This is a uh, Wag wow. the Wolf by Bo's Brewery. Uh, by the way, uh, Bo's is one of the largest, if not the largest, microbrew in Canada. Uh, they are coast to coast, and uh... oh, look at that! That's almost a perfect pour. Oh, thanks, Bose. You, you mean like this one? Oh, you! I know. All right. Sweet. And tonight's topic. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm calling a dude diatribe. Dude diatribe. Yeah. What do you got to get off your chest? Well, it's not off my chest. Is I want to talk about a subject that's been in the media a lot lately and it's something that the government and the media and people at large have been trying to avoid talking about for years. I can't wait to hear about this. Cheers. It's just two guys talking. There they go again saying anything. Talking about nothing. I really like this. It's nice. It's it's That's lighter. It's lighter than I expected. It's very refreshing. Yeah. This is uh, yeah, I'm happy. The wolf. Yeah. From I was going to say, I'm happy that the color. Yeah. Is the same as the taste, like how light it is, and how it just looks like a clean beer, and it tastes like that too. So go well, ahead. You know, I've 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 uh, I've always been a big fan of Bose. Uh, like we said, local largest microbrew around. Uh, one of the as far the as we know, Bose, if you want to chime in and let people know if that's still the case, we'd be happy to. We're happy supporters. Spout the specs because let's face it, you are wow. a, a one of the staples of microbrewing, one of the big influences in the area for sure, and uh, always with good reason. Delicious wow. beers. <clears throat> all right, so so what's the diatribe? What are we talking about here? Well, first of all, I think it'd be fair. If you explain to people what a diet is. <laughs> All right. Right? It's a rant. You want to know. But dude rant didn't sound quite right. So the dude diatribe, plus rant has a negative connotation sometimes. Yeah. Whereas diatribe is just, I want to talk about something. Hear me out. So that's the dude diatribe. So please, what are we talking about today? So what we're going to be talking about is this whole thing in the media and everywhere right now. It's talking about UFOs. <laughs> okay. Right? Out of nowhere, you didn't expect this, right? So, so, so recently, UFOs, recently it was UFO day. Uh, well, I don't know when this is going to be airing specifically compared to UFO day, but UFO day is, I believe, it's either uh, the twenty fourth or the twenty third. We're gonna have to look at it uh, at the bottom. June. June, yeah. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> we're in June right well, now. Well, this might air in, in. It could be airing at some other yeah. time, so it's hard to tell to tell you sometimes. Okay. But yeah, it, we'll we'll put it at the bottom here when the UFO day, the specific day it is. So what about UFOs? So, um, the United States federal government is going to be putting out a bill, or it probably already has, depending on when you're watching this. But regarding UFOs, and by the way, they've actually changed it. It's not UFOs anymore. It's not unidentified flying objects because they're not necessarily objects. So they've changed it to unidentified air phenomenon, UAP. UAP. Oh, come so, on. That's the dumbest no, thing I've ever heard. Well, you can be a UAP and still be a UFO, but you can't be a UFO and be... Uh, 
one or the other. So UAP. That's just D-U-M-B. That's what it is. Exactly. So right. they're, they're trying to justify that it's no longer objects. There's possible cloud formations or whatever. So they're trying to justify it that way. But the big news is the fact that they're saying that they, and they've shown it on multiple, uh, or even on YouTube here, that if you just look it up, uh, UFOs or uh, UAPs uh, footage. Well, from, they released that last year. Yeah, but it's been ongoing. But now, the way they approach it, and this is not, it's not a rant, I just want to bring this up because I find this extremely interesting. It, it is cool. Is the fact for the first time in history, they're not looking at it as being aliens and mocking people about the fact that they're little green men. They're looking at it from, we have warships, we have uh, uh, bases, military bases, we have all this military equipment, we have nuclear reactors where there's UAPs that are around, that they can't explain. Now the fact that before it was mocked because they were thinking, you know, it's not little green aliens, it's not people from Mars or whatever. But now it's like they brought up, there's a group that was part of the government now that have, have created their, their own private enterprise. Look it up on YouTube also, you'll see it. But now the fact is, is by the way, if we don't know what's in our airspace, that's the issue. Whoever is in control of these vehicles or non-vehicles or whatever it is, they're going faster than ours. They're... Their, their, their speed is, is, is completely ludicrous compared to what we have technology wise. So from a technological, uh, from the, the, the side of looking at these as a possible threat, somebody's paying attention to us and they're way more advanced than we are. So, That's so, an issue. So, so this is presented not as a, an alien conspiracy, but it's presented as national security yes. with let's call it foreign whether the foreign is yes. otherworldly or not exactly foreign superior technology yeah and they they've come out the the uh, the u.s government has come out to say this is not our technology we don't have anything that comes close to this so the question is is it from a foreign superpower or is it otherworldly exactly so whatever's outside of the borders of the united states is of course considered foreign so if it's from outer space or another country that's the issue so okay so when, when you first brought this up i thought you were we were going to be talking about spacemen but i guess i mean we still could i don't know it could i mean do you, do you think ufos could be otherworldly okay so here's the kicker on this why this really got me interested is the fact that i have and i'm confessing to it and i'm not coco loco i have witnessed these you a piece. UFOs. Really? Post the, look at the picture now. So okay, so that's like a little white dot. Okay, in so the sky. this little white dot. This is a photograph that I took, right? And I was taking pictures of different colors and cloud formations, just because I find it interesting from a photographer's point of view. So I'm taking photos. And from the corner of my eye, I see something coming. I take enough pictures where I live Excuse me. to know where planes travel. They have very, very specific uh, the flight corridors and flight, stuff. flight yeah. corridors that they have to follow. They make, regardless if, it, if it's a jet, if it's UPS coming over with their, their, their jumbo jet to deliver things, if it's from this small airport nearby that's the little biplanes, whatever it is you hear it, you know what it is, you can see the two wings. This little, you saw the, the, the four. Yeah, that's like a little it's white a little circle. White, but it came out from that side and planes usually come from this side and it was going opposite direction, which got my attention because that's odd. But the weirdest part about it is it stopped. Yeah, like it just hung in the sky. It just stopped. So it's, it didn't turn and come towards me it didn't turn, go opposite, it didn't fly, it just stopped. So, I was able to take two photographs, one of which we just showed you. At the speed that thing was going, in any other circumstance, there's no way that I would have been able to get that on film. But because it stopped in midair, I was able to get 
two photos out of it. Then, this is the weird part, because that's not weird enough, it just shot straight up. So like, change direction? Just completely from stopping at a, like a complete dead stop, shot up and gone. I was completely besides myself. I was, I was taking these photos and I could not believe what I had just seen. And then, this, was, this photo was taken a couple of years back. Now, in the last year, they're bringing all this stuff up, but what brought it back for me is that one of the photos, the first one that I saw, is eerily the same shot that I took. And then multiple other uh, photos. Can we from, post that now? Can we post the Yeah, other? we can post it right now. Oh crap, that okay. does look a lot so like, huh? pretty much the same. <laughs> that's, that's weird. So, all of this is going on at the same time, and I'm going, there's no way I can't talk about this. All right, all right, so all right. This is what's so, going on. So if, you, if you're trying to ask me if I think it's, it's aliens or whatever, maybe, I'm going, you know what? From a technology point of view, humans at, at the stage we are at, we're already sending out probes that don't have any humans in it. So my point of view is that even if it is alien, there's no actual aliens in it. They're sending no, that's out a, probes. That's a separate debate. So that's a whole other so thing. So first, let's establish that it is... It's huge, right? It is, it is a UAP or a UFO because all that really means is unidentified yes, exactly. phenomenon or flying object. You saw a flying object, you don't know what it is, it's unidentified. Yes. Is it a UFO? Yes. Is it a UAP? Yes. Is it aliens? UFO doesn't mean aliens. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, but it doesn't mean... It does not seem to fit any known technology criteria here on Earth that we know of. But of course, who are we to be informed of this stuff, right? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what the Chinese or the Russians are doing. Uh, even I'm sure that half the states don't, most of the states don't know what the states are doing. No. Um, so, who the heck knows? So this begs the question on the, uh, on the, on the side. Not that whether you think there were aliens aboard that thing or not. Do you believe aliens are a thing? Oh, do we have more time? I, I have mixed feelings over that. Okay. I do. I wish I could be... Make it quick. To wrap it up, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. I almost... I, I, I... People of Earth, there are no aliens. I repeat, there are no aliens. It's one of those things that I want to, but I don't want to because the premise of it is very well, freaking scary, here, but whatever. Here's the way I see it. I'm super into it. There are billions of solar systems in the known universe. Yeah. I think I think it would be uh, completely egocentric to think we're the only life in the universe. Would it suck but, if we were the only ones? Probably, or maybe not, maybe, we don't know. But there's a big difference between life out there and them coming here to visit us. Yeah. I, does the technology, can it actually even happen? Because traveling those vast distances could take thousands and you know millions of years depending on how far you want to go so eh. whether there's life out there yes whether they came here probably not hey you know what if this subject really interests any of you or all of you or anybody let us know send in questions more about it we can have more discussions because trust me we could have oh yeah <laughs> conversations about any of this but that's for another time but it is thanks for joining us and that was my little thing tonight. Do, 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 Cheers. Do, 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 do.